Hello, thanks for joining us on TVC News. Let's begin with the National Assembly, where the Senate has directed a joint committee to conduct a thorough investigation into the incessant crude oil theft in the Niger Delta and the suspected actors involved. The upper chamber adopted the resolution following a motion sponsored by the lawmaker representing uh, Niger Delta, Ned Woko, during the Tuesday's plenary session. A National Assembly correspondent, Tijiso Adeoye, reports. Reports of flagrant bunkering of oil in the Niger Delta and other oil producing communities has come up for discussion on the floor of the Senate. More disturbing for the lawmakers is the alleged involvement of some individuals within Nigeria's security forces who employ sophisticated methods to pilfer from oil facilities within the country. The lawmakers fear that if this nefarious trend is allowed to continue unabated, it may hamper crude oil production and pose a substantial threat to the nation's economy. The Senate also knows that the oil sector in Nigeria plays a pivotal role in providing employment opportunities for millions of Nigerian citizens and accounts for 70% of its budget financing, while oil and gas made up of 90% of export income and 85% of government revenue in the first quarter of 2022. It is oil bunkering. Let us not be promoting it to say oil theft. This is what is also known as bunkering. It is a major economic sabotage to our country. And the syndicates, those that are involved in this syndicate are so many that by the time you unravel it, you'll be scared. This gives us a significant impact on the ability to execute capital projects. And therefore, I believe that the figures can be shored up if we are to reduce the level of oil theft and it would give us a greater opportunity to execute capital projects in the year 2023 and beyond. The Senate has now directed a joint committee on petroleum upstream, downstream, gas, Niger Delta and host communities to conduct a thorough investigation into the matter. The committee is expected to report back to the Senate with its findings in six weeks. Nigeria loses 1,000 barrels of crude on a daily basis, which is biting hard into the country's economy. The Senate hopes that this investigation would unmask the real actors behind the menace and provide a lasting solution to all bunkering in the country. See Jesu Adeoye, News, Abuja.